I would also like to thank my principal, Donnell Maffei, for her support and encouragement these past five years. Without her, I certainly would not be here tonight. And thank you to my family, my parents, and my husband, to whom I can't say anymore or I will become far too emotional. I wanted to say that this morning I was warned by my colleague, Tom Funk, to remember to thank my spouse, even though for me that was not always going to be a problem. He, however, stood up here a few years ago and failed to mention his wife in his thank you list. And for his oops, I would like to finalize my thanks with one to Mrs. Funk. Thank you, Mrs. Funk. <laughs> and perhaps now Tom can let a little bit of that guilt go. I've mentioned Tom Funk as a previous winner, but we are not the only Elk Grove Teachers of the Year that have come from Toby Johnson Middle School, nor do I think we'll be the last. And that thought was supported this morning at a pre-service staff meeting in which the 60 of us spent some time reflecting on the new California standards of the teaching profession. It was a truly pleasurable experience to be part of the new school year energy with my colleagues and to watch and participate in the sharing of ideas, the challenging of new and old methods, and the group adoption of new school norms that are going to better our students' learning. The whole process brought me back to a chicken and the egg question that I've been having ever since I became involved with this Teacher of the Year process. Are we teachers because of who we are, or are we who we are because we're teachers? Perhaps some of you, like me as a child, were playing school with the neighborhood kids and your siblings, and did you always gravitate like me to being the teacher? Or maybe you signed up in junior high and high school as I did to tutor students in subjects in which you excelled. It took me several college degrees to eventually get to, but my life has always found a way to bring me back to teaching. I am a teacher because of who I am. It's in my blood. In my private home life, I have to be sometimes very careful as I'm not married to an educator. It took me just a few times to learn that teacher speak was clearly not the way to communicate with my husband. <laughs> Asking him if he made an appropriate choice <laughs> went over nearly as well as asking the, the dogs to use their indoor voices. <laughs> but you know, I am who I am because I am a teacher. We may not be able to turn off the teacher look at the grocery store when a child is misbehaving in line, and we may have to stop ourselves in public when we're prepared to ask strangers' children to spit out their gum. But I think that we, the teachers of the year, can take pride in knowing that the answer to my chicken and egg question, for us, it's both. We are great teachers because of who we are, and we are who we are because we're teachers.